Hello children, today we are doing angles and their properties and the last part of exercise 18b questions 8 to 10. This is found on page number 194. Question 8. The measures of two complementary angles are 2x minus 7 degrees and x plus 4 degrees. We have to find x. We all know that the sum of two complementary angles is 90 degrees. Now, the first angle given here is this and the second angle is this. That means if I add up those two, I should get 90 degrees. So let me add up those two angles. So that is 2x minus 7 degrees is one angle. And when I add up the other angle, which is x plus 4 degrees, Together, I must get 90 degrees because my question says these are two complementary angles. I'm going to open my brackets. 2x degrees minus 7 degrees. When I have a plus sign before brackets, there will be no change in whatever is within the brackets. So I'm going to write whatever is inside the brackets as it is. Plus x degrees plus Four degrees. So when I add up these two angles, I should get 90 degrees. Now I'm going to take only the x. Okay, so I have two x degrees here and I have one x degrees here. So I'm going to add up two x plus one x. That will be three x. Then I have my whole numbers. Let me take my whole numbers. I have minus seven and plus four. Let me do that here, minus 7 plus 4. I hope all of you remember the rules for integers. Okay, here there are two signs. One is minus, one is plus. That means the signs are different. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number, which is minus, and subtract 7 minus 4. So I get 3. So I've got minus 3. So 3x degrees minus 3 degrees equals 90 degrees. Now I'm going to leave 3x degrees on the side and on the right hand side I'm going to leave 90 degrees as it is. Now I'm going to move minus 3 degrees from the left hand side to the right hand side. So when it is minus here when it comes to the right hand side it becomes plus 3 degrees. So 3 x degrees equals 90 plus 3 is 93 degrees. So how much is x degrees? Now 3x means 3 into x. So when it goes to the right hand side, the multiplication changes to division. So I have 93 degrees as it is. 3 becomes division. So I put 3 degrees down here. Let me divide 93 by 3. I'm doing short division. 3 threes are 9. 3 ones are 3. So I've got 31. So I have found the value of x to be 31 degrees. So my question here is find x. And we have found x to be 31 degrees. Question 9. The measures of two supplementary angles are given this time. So one supplementary angle is 3x plus 15 degrees and the other one is 2x plus 5 degrees. And we have to find the value of x. Sum of two supplementary angles is equal to 180 degrees. So let me take the first supplementary angle given the question which is 3x plus 15 degrees. And the other supplementary angle, which is 2x plus 5 degrees. And the sum of these two is equal to 180 degrees. So let's open the brackets. 3x degrees plus 15 degrees. Now when you have plus before brackets, everything inside the bracket remains the same. So let me write 2x degrees plus 5 degrees equals 180 degrees. I'm taking only the x. So I have 3x degrees and 2x degrees. 3 plus 2 is 
5x degrees. Then I have my whole numbers there. I have plus 15 and plus 5. 15 plus 5 is 20. So that is plus 20 degrees equals 180 degrees. So I'm going to leave my x on the left hand side itself that is 5x degrees. On the right hand side I'm going to leave 180 degrees there. I'm going to move my plus 20 degrees to the right hand side. When it goes to the right hand side it becomes minus 20 degrees. 5x degrees equals 180 minus 20 will be 160 degrees. If 5x is 160, how much will x degrees be? So here 5x means 5 into x. When it moves to the right hand side, the multiplication changes to division. So 160 divided by 5. Let's do short division. 160 divided by 5. 1 is small, so I take the next digit. It becomes 16. 5 threes are 15. I carry 1 there. So that's 10 now. 5 twos are 10. So I have found the value of x to be 32 degrees. Question 10. For an angle x degrees, find the complementary angle. Whenever you think of the complementary angle, think of 90 degrees. So, the complementary angle of, what are we asked to find? X degrees will be 90 degrees minus X degrees. So, this is the complementary angle of X degrees. I can rewrite this as 90 minus X degrees. So this is the angle that is complementary to x degrees. The supplementary angle. Now we need to find the supplementary angle for angle x degrees. The supplementary angle of x degrees will be, when we think of supplementary, we need to think of 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus x degrees. I will rewrite that as 180 minus x degrees. The third part of this, we have to find the value of x degrees if its supplementary angle is three times its complementary angle. So let's understand that supplementary angle is three times it's complementary angle. So let's write down a few statements. The complementary angle of x degrees will be 90 degrees minus x. Isn't it? Complementary means 90. Now the supplementary angle of x degrees will be 180 degrees minus x degrees. So we have the complementary angle and the supplementary angle. Now what is given in the question? It says supplementary angle is three times its complementary angle. So what is the supplementary angle? Let's write this down. This is the supplementary angle. That is 180 degrees minus x degrees is three times. So three into, I can put it in brackets, 90 degrees minus x degrees or 90 minus x degrees. Okay, I hope you understood the statement. I have written the supplementary angle here which is 180 minus x degrees and that is 3 times, that's how we got 3. Complementary angle is 90 minus x degrees. Now let's work it out. 180 degrees minus x degrees equals, now we need to multiply 3 into 90 first. So 9 threes are 27. So 90 threes will be 270. Then I move on to the next part. 3 into minus x. So this is plus. 
So plus into minus will be minus 3 into x will be 3x. 3x degrees, 270 degrees minus 3x degrees. So now I'm going to regroup everything in such a way that I'm going to put the x on the left hand side and the whole numbers on the right hand side. So on the left hand side I have minus x degrees. I'm going to keep it on the left hand side itself. On the right hand side I have the whole number 270 degrees. I'm going to Leave it there itself, 270 degrees. Now I'm going to move the others. 180 degrees is plus here. I'm going to move it to the right side. So it becomes minus 180 degrees. On the right side, I have minus 3x degrees, which I'm going to take to the left side. It will become plus 3x degrees. So I have the x on the left side and the whole numbers on the right side. Now let's solve this. So here I have minus x degree that is 1. That is minus 1 plus 3. When signs are different put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. So here I have plus 2x degrees equals 270 minus 180. Let's minus 270 minus 180. So 0. Here I borrow. 17 minus 8 is 9. Okay. 1 minus 1 is 0. So here I've got 90 degrees. 2x degrees is 90 degrees. So x degrees will be 90 degrees. Now what do I do with 2? 2 into x here. So when it goes to the right hand side, it becomes division. 90 divided by 2. So let's divide 90 by 2. Let's do short division. 90 divided by 2. 2. 4s are 8. Now this is 9. So there's 1 remaining. So it's 10. So 5s are 10. So I have got 45 degrees here. So I have found the value of x degrees as asked in the question. x degrees is equal to 45 degrees. The value of x is 45 degrees. So with that we have come to the end of exercise 18b. Next we will be doing exercise 18 See. Thank you, children.